So how much do these LLM models actually cost if you want to do everything? Well, I pay for the $20 a month chat GPT plus. This gets everything in free, extended limits on things, yada, yada. This is what most people that are not doing free are going to be doing. 20 bucks a month, no matter how much I use it, but it is limited. So limits do apply. Usage limits to ensure a smooth experience for all users. This may include usage limits such as message caps, especially during high demand. These limits may vary based on system conditions. So that's kind of vague, but the point is that if I just start completely using this 24 seven and really abusing my $20 uh, a month plan, it's going to exceed $20 worth of compute from chat GPT. And they're going to either toggle or turn off my access to the plus version. And they may ask me, I don't know, they may ask me to upgrade to pro. I don't know how that works, but I do know that they have made it explicitly um, not super clear because they need a limit and they need to be able to throttle people. We're going to look at why that is as we go into the details of the API pricing. Now, what on earth does this mean? Well, if you're a developer, you know what this means. But if you're just a normal human, API pricing means how much it costs to use ChatGPT and the different models in your own applications or your own use cases. You can sign up for this and you can build, for instance, an iPhone app that uses ChatGPT, one of the models that you specify, and it uses it to do something make an image, create text, uh, chat back and forth, a chat bot, uh, whatever, all the zillion use cases that people are using. Now here's where it gets complicated. API pricing is based upon tokens, or rather cost per million tokens. So it's not based on text input like words, it's based on tokens. And we'll talk about what that means in just a second. I'm just finding out about it myself and kind of diving into the weeds on my own. But as you go to the API pricing page, you immediately see the, the latest models as of the recording of this video. We've got 4.1, the smartest model for complex tasks. And we've got here, we've got input and cached input and output. So different prices for different things that you're going to be using. The input is what we're typing in, what you're probably used to doing, typing things into the chat in ChatGPT. It's gonna cost $2 for every million tokens for input. Then we've got cached out or cached input, and that is gonna be like a system prompt, my best understanding. It's something that's stationary and stays in place for the duration of the session or the uh, prompting that you're going to be doing. So if you have some specific instructions, if you're writing in the style of somebody or trying to emulate something like that, then you're gonna put that in the system uh, prompt and you're going to have it remember that, hey, I wanna write in the style of Ernest Hemingway for this, or I want you to write in the style of it. And so do so in all your output. And so it's gonna cache that, which is basically like saving that to memory, and then all of your other conversations in that uh, uh, container or in that window of time, that session are going to use those system instructions. So those are cheaper than just the input. The output are more expensive than the input. So the output is what it gives you back. So if it gives you back a page worth of text on whatever you've asked it about, that's going to be at a cost of, in this case, $8 per 1 million tokens. Now, it gets more complicated before we get to the tokens because this is only, uh, we're only looking at four point, GPT 4.1 right here. Then we've got 4.1 mini, which is, uh, over four times cheaper for input and output. We've got Nano, we've got O3, we've got O4 Mini. If you've uh, dived at all into this stuff, you know there are a gazillion different models even for each of the Frontier LLM companies. So I'm gonna go over here to, to a little bit better format for this. We've got the text token models right here, input, cache input, output in a chart form. And you can see that these vary wildly. O1 Pro, $150 per 1 million tokens, $600 per 1 million output. 
all the way down to uh, like 4.0 mini search preview, 15 cents per million input, 60 cents per million output. Text tokens, flex processing, uh, way more things, way more details than we can get into. Audio tokens. So these are, uh, as you might expect, more expensive. There's more compute involved in taking audio that you're recording or that you're inputting, it translating it into tokens and text and interpreting what you're actually saying. That takes more compute than it just typing in the instructions on the keyboard. Image tokens, same thing. It takes more compute. Fine tuning, uh, we will not get into this at all, but I just wanna give you an overview here of how many different models and the varying models are available for use here and the big variable in pricing. So let's talk about tokens. What does tokens mean? So this is not like a word is a token. If you come over here to platform.openai.com, we have uh, slash tokenizer rather, we've got this little tokenizer tool. So you can select your model, you can input text right here, and it will show you how many tokens this is consuming. So it's 670 or 607 characters, 139 tokens. Um, this is not a token per word though. So if you look at each of these words, many of them represent one token. But then if you go to Cormac, well, for some reason we've got the space and the letter C, then we've got the uh, ORM, and then we've got the AC. These are three tokens for that one word. Same thing with McCarthy, same thing with Sanderson. Those are more than one token per word. Same thing with 2025s. So the five and the apostrophe S, those are tokens rather than just 2025 being one token. So the reason for this is beyond my pay grade, but you can toggle between text and token ID right down here. And you can see this is the tokenized version of what I wrote in that text prompt. So computers, as you may or may not know, deal in ones and zeros and numbers. And so we've got to translate this down into a token that is understood by the model. And then it will in turn return tokens that are translated back into human readable format for us in the output. So we can get a rough approximation for the cost by taking this right here, the number of tokens, and I've got a calculator over here. We'll put in 139. And so that cost in input from us, 0. 0.000278 dollars. So uh, what is that? Point zero two cents. I think that's right. Uh, math. Great. Uh, so extremely cheap for these small little bits of text, right? But as you go down here, uh, let's just add, let's pretend it was 10 times that large. And you can see that we're approaching there a penny right here for the O1 model. We are at 17 cents for O1 Pro for a thousand tokens. But you can see that it is quite a bit more expensive. Let's leave that on just so we can um, see it a little bit better. It's quite a bit more expensive on the output costs than the input. So you need to pay attention to which model you're going to be using depending upon if you need the horsepower of O1 Pro, say, rather than uh, can you get by with 4.0 Mini. Now let's go back here and uh, I had a chat open. Yeah, so I, I entered that in chat and then here was the response that it gave me. And I did limit this maximum 50 words each for each of the three paragraphs. And we're gonna copy that and we're gonna go back over here into our tokenizer and we'll paste that response. I copied the wrong thing. So we're gonna copy this and come back over here. And the response was 162 tokens, so not that much more than the actual input that I gave it to begin with. And we can come over here and, and estimate that, hey, that's gonna cost exactly this amount per model. Now, all of the models, all of the LLM companies are going to have pricing like this. They're gonna have their, uh, here's Claude's page on Anthropic. They're gonna have their pro version and their plus or max version. And it's gonna be a price per month, but just know that under the hood, they're gonna come out on top because it's pennies. It's, I mean, it's fractions of pennies that the compute is costing them unless you become a superpower user. 
So that's why the economics work out for them. And then always you can toggle over here to the API costs and you can look at Claude Opus 4, which just came out at the input versus the output. And then all the way down to the Haiku 3.5, drastically, drastically, 40 times um, uh, less expensive at 80 cents per million tokens and $4 per million output. Um, and you can see this on all of the major models. Gemini's got theirs. I won't pull it up just to show you, but that's how you can interpret uh, what's going on behind the scenes. And if you're a developer or you're becoming a Vibe developer, uh, as it were, you can start to understand so you don't break the bank when you're building these apps, which ones you're going to want to use and how much the cost is actually going to be. And then you can put some guardrails in place like that prompt that I showed you a minute ago to where, hey, limit your uh, response to a maximum of 50 words each in this particular case so that you don't just uh, spit out tons and tons of output that you don't necessarily need. If you like this, I write about automation and spreadsheets and different toolings in business, and small business and personal life over at gotsheet.xyz. The link is down in the description. If the video was helpful, please uh, let me know in the comments. Say, hey, down there, I respond and I'm pretty active whenever I do have comments. Click like, subscribe to the channel if it's super helpful and you wanna see more like it. Hope you have a great one and goodbye.